Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I teach you how to improve your level of English. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the difference between much and many. I'm also going to teach you when we use a lot of or lots of. First, let's look at these two sentences. Lorena has many friends. Joey doesn't earn much money. We use many before friends because friends is a countable noun. Countable nouns have a singular and a plural form. In plural, these nouns can be used with a number, which is why they are called countable nouns. We could say, I have one friend, or I have 10 friends. However, in the second sentence, we use much before money. And that is because money is an uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns can only be used in singular. They cannot be used with a number. We can say, I have money, but we can't say, I have one money, or I have two money. So remember, we use many before countable nouns, like dollars, apples, people, cups, or animals. And we use much before uncountable nouns, like money, time, water, sugar, love, homework, etc. We can also use a lot of or lots of to replace both much or many in both of these sentences. So we could say, Lorena has a lot of friends or Lorena has lots of friends. We could also say, Joey doesn't earn a lot of money or Joey doesn't earn lots of money. A lot of or lots of are both interchangeable and you can use them both with uncountable or countable nouns. So now let's review much and many in a bit more detail. And then we're going to do a practice quiz. So let's get started. Okay, so let's compare much and many. Much is used with uncountable nouns. It is mainly used in negative sentences and questions. Again, uncountable nouns are nouns that we cannot count, like coffee, rice, or sugar. We cannot count sugar, but we can count teaspoons of sugar. So teaspoons would be a countable noun, but sugar is an uncountable noun. Examples. I didn't have much fun at the party. The teacher gave us too much homework. How much time do we have left? You can see that fun, homework, and time are all uncountable nouns, which is why we use much in front of them. We usually use much in negative sentences and questions. With affirmative sentences, we prefer to use a lot of or lots of. So, for example, if you said, I have much time, it doesn't sound correct. That is not natural. We would say, I have a lot of time, or I have lots of time. Examples, the lawyer earns a lot of money, or the lawyer earns lots of money. We wouldn't say, the lawyer earns much money. Now let's look at many. Many is used with countable nouns, and many is used in affirmative and negative sentences and questions. Again, countable nouns are nouns that we can count. Dogs, chairs, hats. Examples. Sarah has many skills. Diana went on many dates last year. Jesse has many video games. Skills, dates, and video games are all countable nouns so we use many in front of them. We can also use a lot of or lots of with countable nouns, just like we can with uncountable nouns. For example, my sister has a lot of friends, or my sister has lots of friends. 
Dean has a lot of problems, or Dean has lots of problems. And many we can use with affirmative sentences. So we could also say, my sister has many friends, or Dean has many problems. So now let's do an eight question quiz. I'm going to read them all to you first and then correct them together with you. Number one, Jake doesn't have friends. Number two, my boyfriend doesn't drink coffee. Number three, Bernice has been to countries. Number four, Santa gave me presents. Number five, you put two sugar in my tea. Number six, how time do we have? Number seven, do you drink water? Number eight, does Michael go to parties? So now let's correct these together. So number one, Jake doesn't have many friends. Friends is a countable noun, so we have to use many. Number two, my boyfriend doesn't drink much coffee. Coffee is an uncountable noun, so we have to use much. Number three, Bernice has been to many countries. Again, countries is countable. Number four, Santa gave me many presents. Number five, you put too much sugar in my tea. Sugar is uncountable, so we use much. Number six, how much time do we have? Again, time is uncountable. Number seven, do you drink much water? Again, water is uncountable, so we use much. And finally, number eight, does Michael go to many parties? Parties is countable, so we use many. So let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of eight. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Sparkle English for more English lessons just like this one, and I will see you in my next lesson.